Hello everyone, in this tutorial, how I created a uh, leather jean for my 36 day of type 2018 serial. This one, let's start. At first, I need a capsule shape to get the form of the my leather. I will change the direction to X. I will make rad radius about 9 and I will increase the segments Let's make it so yeah something like that will work and I will move to from Y X to up to make it, it uh, make it uh, put on the floor I will duplicate it with control and drag and will hide one this one for in case I need I need it in future I will press C to make it a table so next step as you see there is bending from left side and right side to, to have this bending I will use joints and we, I will move my joint as well to 9 cm and after my many try I found if I move it from x axis to right side about uh, four centimeter I will get uh, best result for this for this case I will duplicate these joints for the side eight time for this side four times for this I'm holding the control and drag the joint to inside of it four five six seven eight yeah so I will need joint for right side as well and I will drag this one outside of joint and I will do it for it four times four so I'm controlling all of these joints and I'm basically move them to left side about 20 centimeter and I'm holding with shift these joints for 20 centimeter so next step I need to bind them this uh, joins to my mesh I'm holding with shift this all joins I'm press, pressing control holding my mesh I'm, I'm going to in commons uh, sorry in blind there is some parameters you can keep them them as default and I'm pressing ok so I binded my joints to my mesh you, you can see the skin modifier in here and there is a weight modifier uh, tag to create the animation basically I'm select this all joints again and from B axis when I rotate them you can see my mesh is affected as well so let's create uh, animation I'm pressing in my timeline in zero I'm pressing this button to start the record uh, by the way I'm using R23 version it might be uh, different in your version basically you can right click and uh, in animation you can add keyframe it will do the same things so I move my slide to about 
15 and make it about 33 degree maybe uh, 34 I don't know not not sure now and I'm clicking this button again to record my keyframe as you can see when it's move my slide in my timeline and it's animating as well so I will do the same thing for my uh, right side joints I'm adding a key in here and 15 frame hmm and I think I miss it I have to add a key for my first joint as well so let's do it so in this case uh, I have to do this from scratch but it's all right basically I am click all of them and delete animation and I am adding key again okay let's go back again I think I have to add a key for my first joint of the right side yeah it's total weather and maybe we can make some adjustment for this joint it's made maybe it's look better when it's straightened something like that and for my disjoint it should be more rotated yes you can play around and you can get best looking for your case if you want to smooth this size you can uh, use the weight tool and uh, <coughs> apply smooth uh, you can increase your brush when you paint it smooth you can see it is going to be look like more smoother or uh, you can go to weight painter which one in the character segment weight manager sorry and you can apply smooth when you apply to all you can see this all going to be looking more smoother but I will keep it as default because I want to they look like kind of muscles so let's check our type again next step as you can see there is a bulb in here we will create this step now for for this bulb uh, For this bulb, I will using I will use collision deformer. Which one in here? I will make a parent of my mesh. I will create a sphere. Which one going to affect my mesh? I will increase segments about 32 in my collision I will add my collider which one sphere and I can hide this one and I can move the sphere
secure a better position as you see there's a mistake in here but don't worry about it to solve it we, we are going to use smooth modifier when you are applying smooth modifier as you see all of my mesh affecting but i want this effect a small area we need to create a sphere field where is it okay spherical field i will size of it down and move to my sphere area Yeah, let's check the animation. So you can see we need to animate our collision as well. For this is the best way to create a create a solid field and animate volume. I'm adding a key from for zero zero value and in 15 it's going to be 100 so i think we are ready for the rendering step for rendering i will going to use redshift at first i need a studio to create a studio I will use a plane with the band effector. Which I can use in small size. I need to change its direction. I am holding to shift to snap angle. Yeah, we have a nice studio now. Maybe we can increase the segment segment of the plane more. Yeah. So as you see, the G ladder not in the center to bring to our ladder in the center. We need to move joints in this case or we can create a null from for the position and bring all these joints in the null and maybe we can put our mesh as well and we can move it to and in this case i need to uh, bring the sphere in the null as well and we can move all of them to center somewhere like in here so let's our create our this uh, band i think i don't know what's his name <laughs> let's create this one i will use tip for it change the direction again move to 9 centimeter 
scale it down I'm pressing T for it T R is rotating is E is to move for moving probably you know it if you are not totally beginner I'm adjusting this scale and um, let's make it fill it and increase rotation yeah I will make it as stable as well like like in our base mesh I will apply skin modifier to it as well I'm selecting all of just joints on the left side and select my mesh I'm applying same steps for my best mesh as you see is moving together now but I think we need to make some adjustment um, I'm going to weight manager and I will apply smooth couple of time ah yeah it's looking better now let's create a camera animation for for this one Hmm. Maybe a little bit this side. For camera animation, I will create a null again. I will make the parent of the null. Basically, I will just add a keyframe. Like in here. Uh, maybe we can add a position as well because when it's in here it's not in center we can move it slightly like in here and make it look like it's in center yeah so let's create a uh, shader and light setup oh, sorry material mm. I found a skin texture on internet which one this one I will use it for the skin but probably you can find better one with a small search
Oops, not this one. Our mesh. And let's create a material for our studio. I think I picked green cast office for gym. <laughs> yeah, you know. Maybe you can pick it blue. I don't know. It's up to you. It doesn't be so shiny. Maybe a little bit. I will create another material for the this mesh. Which one? I will use blue. Let's create an HDR for light. Donut we are going to use for it. Um, there's one more thing I will I need to show you might for there is some small hairs which one you cannot see properly maybe you can use some adding some small hairs to make it kind of weird I don't know it's up to you basically I will pick my mesh and in simulation I will add hair which which is too much now I will make them smaller even maybe smaller and int I will make it pick to polygon area that's too much now maybe something like that we grow I will turn off dynamic Yeah, maybe we can use some hairy look and make make it look like more sting. It's up to you.
I hope you find this story helpful and learn something from it and you enjoyed. See you in next story.